G'day viewers. What we're looking at down here is the motor and sump of the big scroll compressor. And that little tag there going out to the side is one of three that hold the motor in place and prevent this outer housing from coming off. I do not know how they assemble them at the factory because that tag is welded into the inside with three big, two big belt beads of weld and it's bolted to the motor stator. I don't know how they put them together. I'm guessing it's pressed in first, or welded in first, and then the state is pressed down onto it. But no matter how hard I beat the bottom of this casing, she just won't let go. Basically that casing has to drop before I can get the motor and everything out. I've got it suspended on my little A-frame here. And she just does not want to go. So right now what I'm doing is I'm using this little spotlight, down light, to work out where those welds are and you can, I know it won't show up on the camera but where those black dots are are the top and bottom of each bead of weld and I figure if I cut run the grinder down at an angle like so it will take those tags clean off run it down at a 45 degree angle straight into it I think that's how I did my first scroll compressor I had one about half the size of this it was well and truly burnt out it was a well and truly used compressor but I just managed to actually lift this whole top spindle and everything out and I could see clearly where the tags were and just ran the grinder through it but this one here doesn't seem to actually want to lift out so I just got to determine where they are by where the uh, the other sides of the welds they leave a discrepancy in the paint that's the only way you can see them so I'm going to mark these out do a few cuts and we'll see if she falls apart I took about 5 litres of oil out of it yesterday, but I guess that wasn't quite enough. According to the data sheet, I think this thing has like 8 or 9 litres in it. So I'm just going to let it drain for a while. i cut two of the brackets though. It does work. I'll just let that drain out. It's polyester oil, it's not much good to me. But it burns well, so I'll work on my... Uh, oil injection system for the fire bin and load some of this shit into it. Well, it wasn't as hard as I expected. You just give the uh, housing a bit of a wrap after cutting those brackets and they let go. I know that one of them was still welded on but that broke. The motor's not as big as I expected either. Not for a 95 kilowatt compressor. Drag the uh, outer housing out from underneath it and I might just put it back together without the stator on it and run a, bit, a belt drive to it. I'll try and turn it over with the brook motor one day. Well there she is folks. Found this thing floating around in the bottom. That's your uh, cut your oil pump. You can see uh, dropping the compressor has scored the hell out of it and maybe even dislodged it. Definitely why a good reason to scrap a compressor that's been dropped this hard. These brackets here are bolted to the underside of the compressor motor. So I'm guessing they're welded in while the housing's being made up. The compressor and everything's lowered into place and then the bottom's welded on after the compressor's bolted in. The bottom actually has to be cut off in order to get to the bolts and unbolt it normally. But since I could locate where the uh, tops of the straps were, cutting them out with the 9 inch grinder was pretty straightforward. After all I'm not trying to rebuild it, I'm scrapping it. There's your connections for power and the thermistor. There's a little oil siphon tube which I didn't know about. If I'd known about that I would have put the vacuum pump up to it. But it doesn't matter, the oil's not much good to me so it doesn't matter about a bit of contamination in it. In this motor I'm going to take the stator off and I'll set the pump up on the table with an electric motor drive. The stator has to be scrapped. I need the copper money. So anything that's got copper in it, old condensing units and things, is going to get the chop today. And all the old compressors and things. That's the only problem being out of work. You've got to do anything you can to make money. So I'll chop whatever I can. That's all for now folks. So I'll uh, endeavour to set it up on the table in the near future and do a powered run. 
for a compressor that's rated at 95 kilowatts of output power at 415 volt 60 hertz this really is a very small motor it's just it's probably no bigger than the one that I pulled off a small, much smaller scroll compressor a while ago but the data sheet says 95 kilowatts at near 415 or 460 volts 60 hertz and the rotor itself isn't very big either it does have a floating bearing in the bottom of it so this one's stuck but I'll make a bearing mount for it and try and power it externally I'm going to keep this in the scroll head and chuck the rest in the steel bin